Okay, I want to spend a few minutes talking about the blend surface command. And specifically, we're going to be looking at a particular option called add shapes. And uh, add shapes um, makes the, it, you know, gives the blend surface uh, command a lot more flexibility in terms of the final shape that we get um, as, a, as a result. So, uh, and we're using the blend surface for this surface right here. And we it's a somewhat of a unique condition and a perfect condi condition for the blend surface, um, the blend surface command. So basically, the the surface of the guitar body, this main surface here, um, is uh, actually not a planar surface, uh, although it's very close. But it's not a planar surface, and it's at a bit of an angle. And we need a perfect, you know, transition from this surface um, to this surface uh, in here this surface and this sur this is a planar surface and all of these potentiometers are parallel to each other um, and so we want to create a nice uh, seamless transition between these surfaces so um, but there's a bit of a catch um, just for you know aesthetic reasons I'm going to turn the ISO ISO curves on uh, for you know sort of for an, an aesthetic reasons and and functional reasons, um, th this surface uh, it doesn't have a consistent curvature. It's actually a bit sharper uh, on this edge, and uh, uh, you know, bigger bigger radius curvature on this edge, and it kind of flips on the other side. Uh, well, it's it's the same in terms of if if you're thinking about this as a circle, um, you know, th this edge um, has a, a big a big radius circle a big radius curvature on this side. A small radius curvature on this side, so it flips as it goes around um, 180 degrees, and it's sort of um, equal equal. If we look at you know the uh, 90 degrees away, uh, it's pretty similar curvature, and you can see that by this ISO curve that's uh, coming closer to this edge on this side, coming closer to this edge on this side, um, and if we turn the control points on, it becomes even more obvious. These control points here are making this, uh, you know, a lot tighter of a radius, and this is a lot looser of a radius, and it's the opposite on the other side. So, how would we do that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just uh, run you through a quick demonstration to show you my approach uh, to that, to getting that type of shape. Uh, first, I'm gonna turn off a few parts of the model. I'm gonna hide a few parts of the model, so we can, you know, get a less cluttered view. Okay, so I'm going to delete the surface and we're going to build that. And I'm going to leave these control points on so we have something to reference. Uh, okay, so we're going to blend. Um, we're going to blend this this edge to this edge, and we're going to leave the seam, uh, the seam point here because it's about the same as where it is on this surface. And this is what the default um, blend surface gives us, which is uh, getting pretty close. But um, see, we don't have this sharper, uh, you know, sharper edge around here, and uh, because the curvature um, leading between the two edges is is consistent. And what we can do, we're using uh, regular curvature, so we have three control points to mess with in the handle. And what we can do is make this one uh, tighter together so that it looks like our control points on the other surface that we're referencing. We can reference these control points and try to duplicate it. And we're going to do the same thing with these lower control points. So I'm going to bring, I'm going to make it a bit more spaced out. Okay. So we can do something like that. Um, I'd say that looks pretty consistent. Yeah. Okay. And so that gets us halfway to where we want to be. It's a sharper, you know, sharper radius here and a, you know, bigger radius curvature on the on the bottom side, on the bottom edge. But uh, looking at the other side of the blend surface, this is really not what we want to do. We actually want this to look like the opposite of what it is. And the way that we do that, because this handle is influencing the curvature all the way around, the the surface and same with this handle so what we need to do here is add, add another shape and i'm going to add the shape as close as possible to exactly 180 degrees 
Um, so that's good. That'll be fine. It doesn't need to be exact. And now that we have another shape, we have more handles to influence this side of the blend surface. And it's going to kind of, uh, you know, average out uh, in the middle here. So uh, I'm just going to do kind of the same deal here. I'm going to try to, I'm referencing the other surface so that we have a consistent shape. And we can do something like this. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. Um, and now that we're done our editing, we can uh, just you know press enter, and uh, that's really the shape that we're looking for. And uh, so you know adding shapes is definitely very useful, um, and it and it has adding uh, adding shapes has a lot of other uses that we're probably going to get into, especially uh, when I was making um, other parts of this guitar actually, um, and I hope to get into that at some point, but. Uh, that's that's all uh, I was planning to talk about in this video. So hope uh, hope you hope that helped out. Let me know um, if you have any questions or if you have any other uh, approaches to something like this.